Okay, ladies, this is Brittany with Redeemable Junk, and I'm here today to show you how to make a journal cover out of a box. It's super easy. Do not let it intimidate you. And this is for, this isn't for the seasoned junk journalers, but more for the newbies. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the seam where the box is joined together, which is right here. So we're just going to go on down and open the box up, and we're going to do the same on the end where it's joined together. See, it's joined together right here. We're just going to pull that apart. Now what you see you kind of have, you already kind of have your your junk journal cover. I mean, it's that easy really, but we got to make a few, um, a few alterations or whatever you want to call it to it. So what we're going to do is you want to measure your junk journal out. And I've already eyeballed this. The front of this is the perfect size for a junk journal cover. So what I'm going to do is just cut down this line and cut this little flap down on the side. I'm going to do the same with the top flap. I'm just going to cut it off. Now you want to try to be as straight as you can be. And the lines really help you do that. And we're going to do this all the way down the box. Now we're just going to do the same. Now see, it's coming together. We're just going to do the same on the back part. So we're just going to cut this flap off. And then we're going to cut the bottom flaps off. Let me get rid of all the scraps, throw them away, and then we got it. It's that easy. Look at that. We have our junk journal cover. It's that easy, really. What I do is I go and I put some Tyvek down the center of the spine to reinforce it. I finally bought some Tyvek tape, but for the longest time, I did not have no Tyvek tape. And what I used, let me see if I can find one down here. Oh, I got one are these envelopes that are free from the United States Postal Service. It's Tyvek. There's no rip in this stuff. And what I would do is I would just cut it to size, cut it a little larger than my spine, and glue it down. And that would reinforce my spine for me. And then you just decorate the front, the back of it, and the inside. And you got your junk journal cover. So I'm going to be making a junk journal cover in the next video a different way. Uh, this next way I'm going to use chipboard and we're actually going to cut our spine cut our front and cut our back of our journals and we're going to put it together so i'll do that in the next video i wanted this one to be more easy for the newbies and to show you that in three minutes you can have a junk journal cover there's just really don't overthink it just go with it have fun with it and enjoy it that's what junk journaling is all about so this is the most this is the i make all of my junk journals up until now this way I've never used a chipboard before. This is the way all my journals have been made. You can check out my journals in the journal section and the journals folders of the YouTube of my YouTube channel um, and see what my journals look like. This is the way that I've always done it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Have a wonderful day.